two log, entry 76. This is the 42nd day of the drought, and still no sign of rain. Our present heading is in, towards grids 7 and 14, where the time capsule was supposedly buried. If the capsule does contain a cloud seeder, as recorded, there may be a chance that we can bring an end to this disastrous weather. How's the repair on the auto guidance system coming, Samuel? Try it, Skipper. I reprogrammed it to operate on voice command. I even gave it a name. Augusta. You what? Yeah. Just press the automatic switch and say, Zero Zebra 7. Go on, say it. Zero Zebra 7. I am activated. Please give desired direction and speed. Uh, maintain present course. Samuel, I'm speechless. Yeah. Jonah, do you think that cloud cedar will really bring rain? Well, I hope so. Jonah, go in dome. flashing a mirror. They're using Morse code. <laughs> Same message over and over. Danger, <laughs> turn back. Danger, turn back. For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Civilization fell into ruin. This is the world of the 25th century. Only a handful of scientists remain, men who have vowed to rebuild what has been destroyed. This is their achievement. Part two, a mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge, manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Their mission, to bring the hope of a new future to mankind. Part two log, entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. But we're determined to bring the promise of a new civilization to our people and our planet. what we call reverse psychology. Be ready to move out if we need you. We'll be ready. nice to us last time. Yeah. 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 I don't like yeah. doing this. Indeed and indeed. Now pay attention, the lot of you. Over yonder, there is a group of people who have a device that can make rain. If we can get that device, we can write our own ticket, you see. But Master Faye... But you know what, Stick? After all, we're going to give them back their ark after we're done with it. Yes, Master Faye. You're a good lad. All right, let's go now, all of you, quietly, quietly. Wait! Help! Wait! Don't go! Help us! Please help us! Fagan! Jack! Ah! Glory be, Jack! Will you look who it is? Samuel and little Adam! <laughs> it's so good to be seeing you again, ain't it, Jack? Samuel! It sure is. What are you doing out here? Last time we saw you, you said you were going to give all these guys some schooling. Huh? Oh, so I did! They played hooky, something terrible. 
Uh, but I'm still trying, you know. <laughs> oh, 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 my dear boy, we need water. We're parched, parched. <laughs> Come on in. We've got plenty of water aboard. Oh, bless you, my boy, bless you. <laughs> Let's go a little farther. Ah, that hits a spot. Delicious. You're an exceptional lad, Samuel. Exceptional. Nah. Oh, you are, you are, you really are. Can you believe it, Tick? This stripling lad, Samuel, can run this great craft all by himself. It's no big deal. The art can even run itself. It can. Yeah. Oh, how can such a complex vehicle do a thing like that? Come here, I'll show you. Built-in automatic guidance. You just push this button and say, Zero Zebra Seven. And Augusta does the rest. She does. Zero Zebra Seven. That's all. Mm-hmm. Absolutely amazing. Help! Help what was that? Help! Sounded like a cry for help. So it did. Now, I'll give... What's the matter? Please, nothing at all. Just, just a moment's rest, you see. Then I'll go out to the poor soul. Why don't you have a look? Come on, Adam. Let's go see what it is. some bad news for you. We did it, lads, we did it. We took the arch and we're on our way. We're on our way, we're on our way. Oh, oh, we're on our way. See if you can find Fagin in the Roamer. I'll use the jet jumper. And let Ruth drive. Wouldn't you know it? Almost out of fuel. It's a manual, Tick. What's that? A book that tells you all about the facilities in this vehicle. You see, I must figure out how we're going to obtain that capsule once we arrive at our destination. Master Fagan. I'm busy. I'm busy. You. I think I've spotted some tire tracks. Uh-oh. I think I'm running out of fuel. I'm putting down. Give us your grids when you land. We'll pick you up later. Roger. Well, that's it. You can say that again. Look.
the place, Master Fagin. Master Fagin, we're almost there. Augusta, me dear, you can stop right here. Lovely. All right, let's be quick about it, Rocky. You and Fixer stand on tick. I want you and Sneaker to check on the capsule. Make sure it's still in that hot. Step lively now, boys. Lively. Got it, Master Fagin. All right, now. Jonah Dark Roamer. Jonah Dark Roamer. Come in. Groot, Samuel, are you there? You are spoilers who come in a machine that spreads dust. Mm -hmm. We'll be glad to leave it. Oh, Once this land was fertile and green. Mm -hmm. There was food for our hunt, mm -hmm. water for our thirst. Mm -hmm. Now no food, no water. Mm -hmm. The rain god is angry. Mm -hmm. A sacrifice. We'd like to help you if we can. We're looking for a capsule that will bring rain. What is this capsule? Oh, about so big and made of metal. <laughs> Seize them! Take them to the cave of no return. What's that? A cave from which no one can find his way out. <laughs> Now then, with this, we attract the capsule, so set down range distance, arm energizer to prescribed force, allow for gravitational drift, and we are ready. Glory be, I'm brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Master Fagin, Master Fagin, we found the capsule, but... You mean, we can't get to it? No, Master Fagin, I mean, yes, Master Fagin. Well, delightful. The only thing is, you know that guy Samuel, Ruth, and little Adam? Yes. They've been captured. Have they now? So what do we do now? Go home. I'd love to, but you heard that, Chief. This is the place where nobody returns. We'll split up. Each of us takes the tunnel. There must be a way out. Ruth, you take that tunnel. Adam, you take that one. I'll take this one. Okay. Come on. Magnetic force beam to attract metal, range distance. Push, switch to attract. Push. Push. There you are. <laughs> my mother always told me that in order to get anywhere, you need a little push. <laughs> Great. We just went in one fat circle. Let's see now. It's about 100 yards. Convection point there. <laughs> that should do it. Now then, arm energizer, input gravitational allowance. Now then, let's... 
and see what we have here. Oh, oh. behold, the cloud cedar. Ha, ha, ha. You're looking at the new rain guard, me dears. Prepare to shove off, Jake. What about Ruth, Adam, and Samuel? We just can't leave them. Indeed we can. I'm not leaving without them. You're not? I'm not. Then I leave without you. You would. I would. And that goes for the rest of you as well. Good riddance to the lot of you. On, great for brats. to the cave. Rocky, you go as far as you can in without losing sight of Sneaker. Everyone else the same way. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the way, Captain. Forget it, Fagin. You'd best reconsider, Captain, seeing as how your precious crew is being held prisoner back there. And you and your flies are making a run for it? No. I alone. Those scurrilous Calawags were foolish enough to go back and attempt to rescue. Doesn't that bother you, Fagin? Why should it? I have the Ark. I have the capsule. I have it all. And no friends to share it with. I don't need friends. I don't believe that, Fagin. I have a feeling you're a lot more human than you pretend to be. And I don't think you can run out on all of us. I can and I will. Get out of the way, Captain. Sorry, Fagin. You'll just have to run right over me. Well then, on your own head be it. Proceed, Augusta. daylight again. It seemed like we were in there forever. You will be! It is your fault the rain god left us. Back into the cave, all of you, and this time we will be sure that you never come out again. Inside! Should old acquaintance be forgot and never ever brought to do mind? Master Fagan! Tick, me dear boy. He has brought the rain god back to us! Rain god me foot! Your rain god is an invention of science, me dear sir. Here, have a look. Oh, you see? It's empty. So much for your rain god. Oh, 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 oh. Seize him, it's sacrilege! Back! Your barbarous belly crawlers. You get your rain all right, but not from your god of superstition, oh no. It'll come from a man of science. Behold!
sorry we had to destroy your belief in the rain god. You destroyed only our fears. From now on, we will save water and use it in the dry season. <laughs> then we will irrigate our lands. Oh, where'd you learn to irrigate your lands? He is going to teach us. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have agreed to share my extensive knowledge of the soil uh, in exchange for a few measly acres. Master Fagan? Not nearly enough. Well, so long, farmer. Goodbye, my dear boy. Jonah, until we meet again. <laughs> Fagan. Come along, all of you. Did you uh, fix Augusta yet? Yeah. She's still up late on voice command, but only our voice. <laughs> Now then, Tick and the rest of you riffraff, what made you so sure I would return? Reverse psychology, Master Fagan. You know, like you said, you tell somebody to do one thing, knowing they're gonna do the opposite. <laughs> All right, back to work, lest I believe the lot of you with a stick. Part two log, entry 77. We left Fagan and the flies in area 42, sector nine. He taught us something. You can have everything in the world, but without anybody to share it with, you have nothing. Amen. Oh,